Hi guys and welcome to AFC Curtis. I'm your host Curtis and today I'm super excited to be giving you uh, my latest interview with Mr. Zach Drake. So I'm pretty excited for this. We talk about his recent title win with Vaughn in the Ontario League, his online coaching for professional players or players that become professional, as well as even the Canadian Premier League news and notes. So we're pretty excited about this one. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you know you want to see more content just like this, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And even if you hit that bell button right beside the red subscribe button, you actually can get notified each and every Tuesday when I drop an episode just like this one. So without further ado, here's the interview. Hey guys, it's Curtis here for AFC Curtis, and I'm super psyched to be joined with the one, the only, Zach Drake. How's it going, Zach? Oh, it's awesome. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. And I gotta, I gotta give you a big congratulations. You're the League One champs there. Thank you. Appreciate it. How, how does, it, how does uh, going to the Ontario League and then winning, uh, how does that experience, how is that, what has that meant to you? Well, just like any athlete would tell you, you know, the number one is winning trophies, winning medals for whatever team you are uh, playing for or whatever level or league you're in. So just coming into League One and being able to be a part of that, um, that that's really fulfilling as an athlete. But then also just coming back to Canada and having an opportunity, I, I really appreciate uh, the head coach, Carm, for giving me the shot last minute to join the squad and end up playing the last, what was it, eight games of the season and getting undefeated through that. Uh, it was a, an awesome process all the way to the end and winning the prize at the end. That's always sweet. Yeah, and you were obviously in the League One Ontario there. What do you think, obviously, the news just dropped a couple days ago about the Canadian Premier League acquiring um, League One Ontario. What do you what, what do you think about that? I mean, it's awesome. Uh, I didn't see it coming, but right when I heard it makes a lot of sense. You know, it's going to be a, a great pool of players, just like it is right now for the, the upcoming new league. Um, it's a great kind of development pool for for future CanPL players to, to show themselves. Um, so it's an awesome idea for them to acquire it. And maybe they'll have some connections like farm teams for specific uh, clubs in the Canadian Premier League so who knows what will happen but I'm just really excited for whatever players are going to be in that league and getting to have a little bit of a spot an opportunity to to be connected to the professional league as well yeah I know I I think everybody agrees with you nobody's seen it come in and then I, I think I was at work or something and I seen the tweet and I was like what what just happened you know as this yeah. It's a, it's a good move, though, I think, uh, for the Canadian Premier League, for sure. Um, just getting that extra league to maybe do it like a farm team, at least for now. But I do think the end goal is probably it's going to be like a Division 3-ish when they do get that pro reg in there um, down the line. That's what I think, at least. Um, but uh, so you, you made the jump there from the U.S. there. You were in the USL. Why did you make that jump? You were at with, uh, you, of course, earlier this year, you were playing with the Las Vegas uh, Lights. Why did you make that jump um, this past summer to back to home to Canada? So, yeah, playing in, in Las Vegas, playing in the USL was a, an amazing experience in itself. Uh, really appreciated my time there. And there were several reasons why I came back. But one of the main ones being just being very excited to get back on Canadian soil and um, kind of assert myself as a, a player that, you know, is showing put their what's the word, just, yeah, showing interest in what's going on in the, the Canadian soccer scene. So it's sort of a, a field of dreams, like if you build it, they will come aspect. And players like myself, you know, have been hearing about it. And since I haven't been in Canada for uh, quite some time playing officially, you know, getting into the Canadian soccer scene again uh, was really exciting for me so I, I thought it was no better time than to come in join Vaughn and it, again being being awesome to uh, win league one and and really kind of stand out as a team there and hopefully stand out individually in front of the eyes of some of the coaches that we're watching cool um and so you've played you know you have experience too playing professionally you played in a bunch of different countries you played in Brazil Germany 
Australia, Portugal. Uh, how do those experiences differ from playing maybe in Canada or the U.S.? Because I know a lot of people talk about styles are a lot different outside of North America. Yeah, of course. Um, so, yeah, one thing that, that I really appreciate from having all of these experiences from different countries is the culture of those different places, whether it's on the pitch or off the pitch. Um, but more specifically, you know, the different variations of the game played, just say in Brazil, they have that Jenga quality to it. And then in Germany, they have that real hardworking machine style. And I like to think that whenever I play in those different places, I try and pick up those qualities and add them to my game. Um, and it, I think it differs from North America, just because we don't really have that soccer culture ingrained just yet. Um, but that's exactly what I'm excited for, something new starting in a new foundation for a uh, real soccer culture in Canada. So it, it's amazing. What, uh, here, why, what's, uh, if you were to say Canada's playing style is similar to one of those countries, which one do you think it's most similar to? Um, that's a great question. I mean, like right off the bat, I... I thought Australia, just as a country itself, is really similar to Canada being a Commonwealth country. Mm -hmm. um, it, it just seemed like a more tropical, no snow Canada. Um, and I guess their their football, again, being a younger country and still developing, that that tends to resonate with me. But who knows? I mean, we'll see um, in the future if we're talking Canadian national team with all these young players coming in. Uh, it's a really exciting time for the country and um, good coaching as well by uh, by John Herdman. So, yeah, we'll we'll have to kind of wait and see as they unfold with all, all those youngsters, what type of playing style they'll they'll have. So, of course, when you're not playing, you you're actually doing coaching online. Uh, how did you start with that, or how did you get into that? Yeah, so um, I ended up. After I graduated from going to school in the States, I, I had a soccer scholarship, scholarship there. And I shipped out to Germany to chase that pro dream, um, just like lots of other soccer players have done. And I quickly realized that I was doing a lot of things and making a lot of mistakes, learning how to you know, really grind and climb the ladder, the professional soccer ladder. And I felt there were so many players back home who just were very similar to me didn't have the same like didn't have opportunities didn't have connections and i thought it would be a great place for me to support them in figuring out how to develop their soccer career without having to go through all the the mistakes and all the the just the tough times and so that's what really started my my interest in supporting soccer players it's just helping give back to the the soccer uh youth who who are inspired enough to really grind out and pursue a pro career yeah no definitely and obviously with the canadian premier league now now in the fold here in canada now we're given that extra level for canadian youth to come up and finally you know crack the professional ranks of pro soccer um obviously you you mentioned you made the move from the usl to ontario to kind of show that interest is it you know how high is that interest to join the canadian premier league yeah, so, I mean, I haven't, uh, hmm, that's a great question. I, I'm like many other players, have been hearing about uh, Pro League in Canada for, for years and years, and the more it's really picked up, um, the more I've been paying close attention to it and looking at what's going on with the infrastructure of it, and it seems like the upper management have their ducks in a row, and it's looking a lot more appealing and more interesting. Um, so yeah, every time I hear what's going on and how it's it's become less theory and more practice, and it's actually here, yeah, it becomes a lot more uh, appealing to a player like myself. So I don't want to I don't want to get you in trouble or anything if you had had these uh, you know behind the scenes conversations. But have you been in contact with the Canadian Premier League or a, or a club? Yeah. So um, I mean. I've been out of Canada for, I think the last time I played in Canada was in 2010 with uh, Ottawa Fury in the PDL days. So 
Um, that said, I do still have connections in the soccer industry in Canada. So I have been contacted and I've contacted um, and yeah, there, there have been talks here and there. So it, it's really up to what will happen in the future and uh, yeah, stay tuned to see what unfolds. Uh-huh. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't say which club you've been, you've been talking about talking to. Um, I guess we'll, we'll say no to that one just to, to leave the teasing out. Maybe that, yeah, that can be my little teaser for, Hey, follow me on social media. If you want to find out. Of course. And, uh, and for those who want to follow me on social media, actually, what's, uh, what's your tag on, uh, Twitter there? Um, so Twitter is at Zach Drake Two. Instagram is where I'm most, uh, active, I guess. And that's Zach dot Drake. But then there's also Facebook, my website, Zach Drake Coaching. You can search that. Cool. Um, and before you go, though, uh, again, I don't want to get, in, get you in trouble with this answer, but I asked Jonathan Hammond this to see if it would trip up, and he didn't. He passed. Uh, I'll ask you this. Uh, is there a certain team you prefer to play with in the Canadian Premier League? Um, look, I've been in Toronto for just over or around three months now, and I've really grown to love the city. Um, it's a place my partner also really loves, so she's she's happy with Toronto. And from what I've seen of the coaches around here, so York and Hamilton, um, I, I really like what they're doing and what they're about, how they run things. But at the same time, as much as I've traveled around the world, I actually haven't explored Canada. So anywhere I would be, um, if any of the teams picked me up, it would be such a cool experience because I know it, like Canada's a beautiful place. Um, and I would just be happy to play on any team. Oh, fantastic answer. There you go. You passed. You passed the test. There it is. All right, uh, Zach, I don't want to keep you any longer. Thank you so much for joining me here on AFC Curtis, and I appreciate it, and hope to uh, see you in the Canadian Premier League next year. Thanks for having me. So that was my interview with Zach Drake, and if you want to follow him on social media, you can do so with the links I'll put in the description below. And guess what? He's also on YouTube, so you can check out his YouTube channel as well. I'll have that in the description below. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content just like this, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. And for all those people out there who have already subscribed to this channel, I want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for your support. Ever since I started doing the Canadian Premier League stuff, um, going on almost two months ago now, I've had nothing but great um, and warmth and support from you guys. So I want to say thank you, and uh, let's keep it going into the new year. Um, and until next time, thank you for watching.